Hi, welcome back to Air Engine Research. If you're a first time looker, I hope you enjoy seeing what you see. And if you'd like to subscribe, I would appreciate it. And in the future, if you do, give me either a thumbs up or thumbs down, please, so that I know how well I'm doing. And for my subscribers who are back again, thanks for showing up. Today I'm going to be talking about an engine I made in 2011. It was a, a two-ring four-cycle, four-cylinder rather, uh, with push-pull valves on it that I had a lot of trouble with leaking and I didn't really like that so that caused some problems. This was the ring that I used and welded another ring just like it kind of offset so that it would form an oval and that way it uh, would work with being able to, to push and pull it and as I got it completed it it worked but I didn't really like it. It was kind of noisy and the, the shape of the thing was a triangle which is, is a little bit too big to put in what I wanted to do. So I'll show you what it looked like and then go on a little bit further. Although it had good speed and I think quite a bit of power, I didn't like the valves. I didn't like the idea that I had to have two rings welded together which made it heavy. And also I wanted to try making a frame that would be much smaller to, to put into a vehicle. So my next idea then was to take the ring and cut it in half and weld a piece in and make it into an oval with just using one ring which I ended up doing and that made it a little bit different as far as how I had to build it so at the same time I decided on using a a circular valve in the center that rotates and I got rid of a number of hoses and I think it will work much better. It it did but again I had problems with leaks so I had to work on that and this is what it sounded like. Okay over the past week or so I've been working on the uh, valve assembly right here trying to make it more compact and more easily assembled and disassembled if I need to work on something so I think I've got that pretty well done and I've also included an upper and lower seal in there now so that the air doesn't leak around the valve um, I think the prototype is pretty well complete as far as what I need to do to make sure that it works and does what I want it to do next thing I'll work on will be the uh, air tank and an assembly for adding air to whatever vehicle I'm going to try to put it in. But it works pretty fair so far. <laughs> it starts and stops in just any position so you don't need a starter. running at uh, probably 110 PSI and it's pretty responsive in starting and stopping. I don't know what the torque will be yet but it will have a fair amount of torque I'm sure.
Well, as you can see in that uh, last video, uh, it was pretty responsive and it seemed to have quite a bit of power. And also, uh, I just, with all the complicated pieces on it, it certainly didn't meet the desire or I should say requirements that I want to make it as simple as possible and with as few moving parts as possible. So I was not satisfied with with that and I've been thinking it over and I've come up with a, another design that is going to use the oval but it will have many many fewer parts. It's going to have three cylinders and the valve is going to be incorporated into the cylinder so there'll be less parts there and it'll have a a rotator in the center which will push and release the air intake valve and the other part that moves will just be the ring so there's actually only going to be one two three four five five moving parts basically the ring and the three cylinders with a rotator then there'll be three pistons that will move in and out and the valve stem which will move in and out but that's all basically in the in the cylinder base itself so it'd be much smaller much more compact and you can take a look at, at how I propose that it'll work in this next little short video. So the simulator shows you how the air engine is supposed to work. And if all goes well, there will only be seven moving parts. It'll be the oval ring and the rotator will be combined. And it'll have three pistons that move in and out. And it'll have three valve stems that move in and out put, that are pushed by the uh, rotator. So I've started putting some of the things together. I have the base and I have the oval ring mounted and I have one of the uh, valves mounted on top of the prototype uh, cylinder and one prototype piston made that I can kind of show you how that'll work with the oval ring in this next little short video. Uh, right now it, it sounds pretty noisy, but I think that's kind of because uh, the, the pistons are loose in the cylinders and well, it'll make some noise no matter what, but we'll see how that goes when the thing is further along the line. <laughs> where I'm at for right now. Uh, I looked back on my channel just to see kind of how many views it's received and since I started in 2010 I guess it was with the actual YouTube videos uh, there's been 17,700 views on the channel so there appears to be some interest in possibility of air-powered vehicles at least i believe so so what do you think so until next time 
think about it, and thanks again for checking in.